hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i am back with another video in this video i have a new year set for y'all this one's very very similar to the one i did recently um if you guys seen it, those emerald green nails these are very very similar i told you guys i had to do them in a different color and i thought that gold would be perfect for new year so without further ado y'all let's get right into the video the acrylic powders i will be using are from nail house i'm going to be using their malt acrylic powder which is my favorite go-to nude you guys know that and then i'll be using their acrylic powder 24k which is that really pretty gold glitter y'all that's my favorite gold glitter ever that's the prettiest gold glitter i've ever seen hands down and um also i'm going to be using as always their size 16 kalinsky brush as well as their monomer and anyone interested in shopping nail house can use the link below as well as um use my code Porsche at checkout to save money on your order so y'all i'm super excited for this video i'm excited for every video but i'm particularly excited for this one because i always love doing like educational videos well all of my videos are educational but you guys know what i mean um and this one particularly i'll be talking about a specific topic i promise you guys a video on talking about youtube the whole youtube thing and how to grow your channel and your subscribers and all of those kind of things so that's what this video will be dedicated to as well as we're going to go back and forth of course about the nails but yes I I get a lot of messages and things like that people asking about you know the whole youtube thing and you know how i grew so fast quote unquote and all of those kind of things um that's a really frequently asked question and yeah so i'm gonna be talking about today in this video and this video is geared for youtubers who are experienced like you've had your channel a long time and you and you have trouble you have trouble growing your channel or you're just beginning or want to begin this video is for everybody under the spectrum so we're going to talk about all of that good stuff as well as enjoy these nails um i have a list right here of points that i wanted to hit um so that i didn't forget anything and hopefully i still didn't forget because i kind of just put this list together literally just before doing this um you know recording this voice over or whatever because i'm like let me go ahead and just do this but y'all without further ado or any more you know rambling let's get right into it sorry before getting into it i want to just mention that some of these are just straightforward and some of these i go into detail about but anyway the first tip that i have for anyone that um has a channel and it's not growing and you don't know what to do or if you're a beginner and you want to start um creating content you know make a channel um my first tip would be that you must have a love or interest in whatever it is you want your channel to be about or make videos about. If you don't have a passion for or some type of interest in whatever it is you want to um, make content about, you won't have the motivation to be consistent. My second tip would be, um, and y'all, these are kind of in order for the most part, but then they're also kind of like, you know, they're just, you know. Anyways, my second tip would be that you have a memorable or catchy, like, channel name. You know, something that goes with your niche. So, for example, you guys know my channel name is Portia Nailed It. It makes total sense. I do nails. Um, something I came up with a, a while ago that I thought was catchy, as well as it includes my name. Um, and, yeah, Portia Nailed It. Like, I nail it <laughs> but no yeah seriously on a serious note you want a name that is memorable it's short it's not hard to remember and it goes with your niche whatever it is that you're doing you don't want to have um a name that has nothing to do at all with what your channel's content consists of okay y'all so before going into tip number three i just want to point out that in the beginning i was using nail houses brush and y'all first of all the other day like right before this video i had dipped all of i decided to take some of you guys advice and dip my brushes into hot water and i wanted to just try it for my acrylic brushes as well something that was kind of like you know getting out of line a little bit and you know kind of straighten them up and make them quote unquote like brand new and i heard this tip worked for a lot of people and a lot of people suggested it and i tried it the other day y'all and it was a complete fail um i ruined all of my acrylic brushes i had to throw them away i don't know how many of you guys can tell in the beginning when i was using that nail house brush it looks nothing like how it normally does look um it was completely out of whack and the, the hairs were just weird acting they were kind of stiff and all of that after dipping them into hot water as you guys can see i tried to like you know thug it out but i just couldn't with that brush i just couldn't so i had to end up tossing it like my application was not coming out as usual i was kind of struggling a bit well not kind of i was so i ended up switching it out to this brush here which is a brush that my page got me for my birthday this year um i know that she's probably like girl why don't you ever use this brush um 
well it's a t size 12 and i don't use size 12 i use 16 like this is so, like so much smaller than the brushes that i use and um honestly i'm just used to my nail house nail house brush but i ended up dipping this one as well because i did use it for like a swatch video and i wanted to dip it just to go ahead and see that if, if it will work y'all and it kind of ruined this one as well not as bad as the other one um but it's ruined too like it's not the way it's supposed to be as you can see i'm still struggling a little bit with my application you guys probably can't really tell but i am um because this brush is ruined just um just like the other ones that I dipped into the water. And yeah, that was just a whole mess, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That really sucks. I don't know why it didn't work for me and why it ruins my brushes instead of helping them. I really don't know. And this brush wasn't ruined as bad as my other ones, being that this one was fairly new. Um, so I just decided to keep on using it because it was the best best brush i've got right now um anyway just wanted to point that out so moving on into tip number three so tip number three for um a successful youtube channel this one's really 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 important y'all this one's really important as well as all of them but this one's like up there like in the top important ones <laughs> if that makes sense um my tip number three is your branding for your youtube channel what is branding? Branding is your intros to your videos, your outros to your videos, your banner, your profile photo. You want to make sure that you have all of those things and that they are good um, because that's going to be the first thing that people see when they click your channel. And your intro and your outro are going to be the first and last things that they see when they are watching your video. So you want to make sure that they include what it is your channel consists of and you also want to make sure that they are all aesthetically pleasing. It all has to be aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's going to be what makes or breaks your channel and video for that matter. Um, whether people want to keep watching or click off. So make sure that you have those and make sure that they are good. And y'all, when I say make or break, I don't, that's not the end all be all, but I'm just saying that's very important because I have clicked, you know, I'm sure you guys have clicked on videos that you guys didn't see um, pleasing in the first few seconds and that's important and you clicked off. So it's really important y'all. As well as having your channel branded shows that you care. Anyways, moving on to tip number four. And it's choosing your niche. If you're watching this, you're probably interested in nails or maybe you're not interested in making a nail channel. It could be anything you're interested in. It could be beauty, fashion, blog, whatever. Um, but just make sure that you are choosing a particular niche and you are sticking to that. You do not want your channel all over the place. You don't want that. The thing that I like about nails is that it, it's so many things under that umbrella. Like you guys know that I make videos doing nails on myself. I make press to nail videos. I make advice videos. I make nail hauls. Um, I make all type of videos, but it all involves nails. Nails or um, blinging something out. Um, <laughs> and I'm referring to my phone cases with that there. But it's all like, you know, it's all art. Find a niche and stick to it. Tip number five is your thumbnail no i'm not talking about your thumbnail like your thumbnail <laughs> y'all that was corny i'm corny in real life too y'all i'll be i'll be saying little corny jokes but anyway <laughs> i'm talking about your cover the cover of your video that is called your thumbnail that is youtube term terminology your Thumbnails to your videos are very important. I, I need y'all to hone in on this and listen to what I'm saying. It's very important the type of thumbnail that you pick and choose for your videos because, again, um, it will determine whether people will click on your video or not. You have to have an eye-catching thumbnail. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, um, you, have, you want to include that, whatever the video consists of, you want to include that into your thumbnail and make sure it's what the video includes. You don't want to have some, um, some clickbait, weird, random thumbnail that has absolutely nothing to do with your video. But make it about your video, make it clear, make it cute, you know what I'm saying? Make it appealing um, so that people can click on your video. Um, that's very important, y'all. Make it up close as well as people can see. And don't be doing too much on a thumbnail. I hate when I see videos and it be all type of um, different things. It just, it just be too much going on on it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know how so too much can be going on on something, on a photo or whatever. Like, yeah, make it straight to the point. Make it clear up close cute and what the video is about tip number six because i have a bunch to say and i gotta fit it into one video or there may be a part two who knows but anyway tip number six that goes along with your thumbnails is just as important 
your titles, the titles of your videos. Again, we want to catch people's attention. We want to make sure people click on the video or want to click on the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to make it make sense again. Make it pretend like, you know, it has to be make sense pertaining to your video, what your video is about. No clickbait weird stuff. It has to be what your video is about. Well, you can make it clickbait if you want to, but that's not cool to your viewers. It's annoying and it's not cool, <laughs> in my opinion. And also, make your title short and sweet. We're not writing a book here. We're just picking a title. It has to be short. You don't want a long, long-winded title. Um, you want a title that can, you know, can be easily searchable and, you know, you want it to be catchy and short. Short and sweet and straight to the point. And again, your titles and thumbnails should go hand in hand. It has to both correlate with each other and what the video is about. Y'all, isn't this glitter so beautiful? Like, now you guys see why it's my favorite go glitter in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to tip number eight. And this is another very important tip. Like I said, they're all really, really important. But this one is um, one of those that's up there. My tip number eight will be to be unique. You have to be unique and also authentic and true to yourself. There are so many people out here who are the same, almost like replicas, like trying to be like another person. You know what I'm saying? Like so many people out here who are the same and they're doing the same content or, you know, the same nails. Like I try to be different. I try to be unique and that can come across in my content. Like I don't, I try to do nails that are out of the norm and people aren't really like, you know, you know how you see the same nails all the time, like the same nails all the time. Um, that's why I freestyle most of my sets. You know what I'm saying? Like I come off, you know, the dome with my sets because I don't like having the same sets as everyone else. And you want to stand out. You want people to come to your channel for, you know, your content. You want them to be able to come, you know, to your channel and not be able to go elsewhere and, and can find the same thing. Um, be different and be authentic, whatever that looks like for you. You know, me personally, I'm the same on here that I, that I am in real life. I don't, you know, try to be different, talk different, do anything different. Um, like, you know, a lot of people, they have this fake, fake persona about themselves, like this fake nice persona. Um, I really am like the nicest person in life until I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like until somebody else, you know, pushed me to be something else, you know, um, I'm literally the nicest person. You, people who know me already know, like, and people who have known me on here for a while know like my character and everything. Like I literally am, I am what you guys see, what you guys hear. Like I don't fake nothing. I am who I am. So again, Stay true to yourself, be authentic, and be different. Stand out. And most importantly, have fun and enjoy yourself. Um, that's a thing too with me, with YouTube. It doesn't feel like a job for me because I genuinely love what I do. Like, I have a passion for nails and I love it. Like, it doesn't feel like a job or like, you know, overbearing or anything like that. Yet, it's a lot, a lot of work, like a ton of work. But it doesn't, I don't wake up and feel like I'm working. I just, Feel like I'm creating doing what I love except for the editing part now that feels like a job I mean I don't love that so much no I'm just kidding no kidding not kidding though but we'll get into that in a little while tip number nine well this one here kind of correlates with tip number um eight it's if you want to start a channel start it I know a lot of people um feel like oh I'm not going to create a channel because it's saturated in this particular department or whatever um just start the channel there's only one you there's only one who can do it like you and we all have different styles and personalities so start that channel stop hesitating it's not oversaturated because there's only one of each one of us um i love this one quote that i um heard it was something like if Rihanna listened to or thought that there was too many makeup brands out here out here or whatever, there wouldn't be she wouldn't have had Fenty, which is a what a billion dollar company. Yeah. Um so that's pretty much that and it's just like, you know, we all are um unique individuals and that's why you come with something different for your channel you know what i'm saying so anyway moving on to tip number 10. this is something that i personally live by and i can't do it any other way um i just don't know how to give it a hundred percent or don't do it at all let me repeat that 
give it a hundred percent, give it a thousand percent or don't do it at all. That's just with anything, but particularly when you're creating a YouTube channel, um, you want to give it your all. First of all, um, you get back what you put into whatever it is that you do. You want to make sure that you are putting out quality videos and that you're just not throwing videos out to get content um, or whatever. Like quality is longevity and so is consistency, but we'll get into that in a moment. But you want to make sure that you're putting out quality videos and videos of substance because um, it can definitely come across in your work, which is your content. Um, if you're serious about what you do, if you enjoy it, and um, it can definitely come across if you're being lazy. So give it 100% or don't do it at all. Um, and that's just how I operate. I can't operate any other way. Um, if you're lazy and just doing whatever, maybe you will, you know, have a little success, but you won't have longevity and you won't get success very quickly. So, yeah. Tip number 11 kind of ties in with um, with tip number nine. I kind of forgot a couple of things about that one. Um, and this is more of like me just, you know, this is not so much of a tip, but it is a tip. Anyways, it's I don't keep up with trends personally, like and that could be good or bad, um, depending good because you know things are so saturated and people look for different and i mean i know i do personally i don't like watching people that remind me of other people um i like to stand out and like i told you guys stand out and be different and offer you know content that you can't go elsewhere and find um not really because i'm portia and only you know i'm it's, there's only one portia and there's only one of you guys so um putting out trendy content or only putting out content you know that's trendy or whatever could could be like a, a con because like you know it's not original and it's just like you know trendy in the moment and like i told you guys you want to be unique you want to be different you want to stand out um as far as like your work and your thumbnails and all of that like somebody could see my work without even my watermark or my thumbnail without my watermark or whatever and instantly know that that's that's Portia because you know I have a certain look to my content um and I take pride in my content and that comes across and as well as like when I see other people's work I can instantly tell who it is for some people some people that I follow without seeing their watermark or the name or anything like that I instantly know who that is so um that ties in too with standing out and being different and um the whole trendy thing can be like clout chasing and all of that it's just like in the moment for the moment trends do die they do die they are for the moment and um that is why you want quality content for longevity and that's why i don't keep up with the trends y'all know i just pretty much do my own thing and i just you know be myself and the reason why i said that um not keeping up with the trends could be like a quote-unquote bad thing is because maybe your videos won't get pushed as much like you know when these trends are going on and you know those different type of things um which i don't really care about like you guys already know i put pride into my work um my content and i want um quality videos over like trendy stuff anyway going on to tip number what are we at 12 um y'all i don't have these tips numbered and i'm kind of kind of um kind of kind of <laughs> i'm kind of going off the dome here and i'm just dropping a bunch of you know as many gems as i can for you guys but first yay we're done with application as you guys can see that's how application is looking and we're gonna move into shaping and filing and um the application was kind of long if i'm not mistaken i've been talking for a little while now but or maybe it's just because i keep stopping but um and this video is for you, Chrissy, too, because you got because you said you wanted a longer video next time. So I kind of made it a little longer for you as well as it kind of worked because I'm trying to give you guys some gems. But anyway, you guys already know the drill, too. If you guys want a full in-depth shaving tutorial, you can check it out on my channel. But moving into tip number 13 or 12, 12. Sorry, y'all. Tip number 12. And, and you guys want to stay tuned because um, I'm going to get more into detail with a bunch of different little tips you guys really, really want to know. Although all of these here are really, really good gems that you guys should take heed to. But anyway, tip number 12, which is a really important one um, when focusing on growing your channel is to know your audience and what they want to see. It's 
very important that you are um, or that you know what the people watching you want to see. You want to keep your audience coming back and watching your videos. So it's important that you know what they want to see. Um, for example, I know that you guys, you guys know that I do nails and you can do so many different things under doing nails, but um, you know, under the umbrella of doing nails. But I know that you guys like most me doing nails on myself. Um, you like that more than my press home videos, more than my haul videos or unboxings and things like that um you gotta know your audience and what they want to see the most i also know that you guys like to see well that's pretty much with everybody who go to watch nail content a lot of people like bling they love to see bling nails they love to see the shiny the you know the whole shebang they like all of that they like all the nail art they like all of that um but I like doing it anyway. I can't do a set without bling or anything like that. I can't do plain nails. Um, um, if I did, I would stay... If I did not like those kind of nails, I would, again, stay true to myself and create whatever it is that I like to do. Because you don't want to take the enjoyment out of what you're doing. You want to enjoy what you're doing. You don't want to just do it... J j yes, you want to do it for your... Um, for your following but you also want to enjoy it as well you don't want to be doing stuff that's not true to yourself and that you um so to take the enjoyment out of it you, you don't want to do that but yes i know what you guys like and as well as you want to know if you got your audience like long videos or short videos you know different things like that um i personally know you guys like um, the majority of my following like the longer videos and me um talking through my videos although i don't like to talk so much because i don't like i just don't like hearing people talk so much that's me personally but you guys like that I talk a lot. So um, know your audience. That's my tip number 13. Sorry, y'all. 12. Like I said, um, I have so many that I, I at some point I'm not going to be able to keep up with the numbers, but I shall try. <laughs> y'all know it's always the thumb for me y'all like me saying it every time but it literally always is a thumb for me something about the thumb that does something to me but anyway um these are how the nose are looking shaped and filed and my drill died um while i was on the index fingernail so i didn't get to still the cuticle on my index fingernail or the thumb um so that's why it may look a little funny but yeah um moving on i'm gonna dust off the nails clean them off y'all know the process and then we're gonna move into the baleen um but on to the next tip, which is tip number 13. And y'all, it's looking like I may have to do a part two because I have a ton of different tips for you guys. Um, and we're going to get into the more juicier ones like getting paid from YouTube and all those different type of things too. Um, I want to get into all of that. So there might be a part two to this video. Well, there will be because, yeah. Um, anyways, moving on to tip number 13. And I have to say that out of all of these hundred thousand tips well not hundred thousand but you guys know what i mean i have all of these tips that i have for you guys i must say that this one is the first and the most important one the top top of the list top of top of the list one um tip number 13 and it's consistency say it with me y'all consistency <laughs> i had to put that tip on the screen real big with an exclamation mark you guys, if you guys want to start anything, that's with anything, but a YouTube channel, the number one thing you have to be is consistent. I get so many messages asking, how do you grow your YouTube channel? How do you grow your channel? How do you grow your Instagram? And that's another video we'll get into um, some tips with Instagram. But right now we're talking about YouTube. The reason why a lot of channels, YouTube channels are not successful is because the number one thing to having a successful YouTube channel is what most people are not willing to be, and it's consistent. I can't slice it up or say it any other way than that. Nobody is going to watch somebody or subscribe to somebody who is inconsistent. It shows that you're not serious about what you're doing, and why would anyone else take you serious if um, you can't? take your own self serious in your own um business or what have you the way youtube and this algorithm work which we're going to talk more about the algorithm a little bit later or in the next video but the way that works is if you're not popping up on people's screens they're literally gonna forget about you like they're gonna forget i know y'all have been subscribed to somebody's channel and they have not you haven't noticed you haven't noticed that they've been gone for a long time but then they suddenly pop up and you'd be like oh i forgot that person existed yeah they're gonna forget about you if you're not posting consistently um 
y'all already know me i'm popping up on screens every day every other day every other couple of days y'all already know like i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna say all of this in the most humblest way possible i'm literally more consistent i'm trying to stress the importance of consistency i'm literally more consistent than people who have been on youtube for years like years i just joined youtube last year and i already have like what 180 videos um a substantial a exponential amount more than i'm not even trying to you know be funny or anything like that an exponential amount more than like i said a lot of people who have been on this youtube for on youtube for years why you may ask a lot of things but the number one is because i'm consistent well not the number one but a large part of it is because i'm consistent i'm consistent and i have this motto of no one will outwork me and that's period and like i said i say all this in the most humblest way possible or maybe i don't take it how you want to take it but i'm just really saying facts and saying my truth um I'm what you call a hundred percenter and a hundred percenter, which means not only am I the most consistent, but I do it all on my own. Like I don't have no type of assistant or editor or anything like that. I do the nails. I film it on my own. I edit the videos on my own. I put them out. Um, and I'm working, this is day in and day out. Like, and it takes me anywhere from three to five hours to film a video. Most times it's closer to like three. Um, and it takes me another five to seven hours, depending on like, you know, what kind of nails they wear and all of that, depending to edit the videos and then putting it up and attending my own premieres, which a lot of people don't do. You know, I get that a lot from you guys, um, especially especially in the beginning, saying like, oh, Portia's in her own premiere and, you know, she's responding to everyone and all of that, of, of course. Um, but because a lot of people don't do that. But anyway, um, then keeping up with those comments not only on the premieres but on my regular videos as well because you know you guys know i respond to everyone at least i try to anyway um you can go down my videos just about every comment hit, just about every comment is liked and or responded to um not to mention my content my separate content on instagram which is a whole different animal like filming that footage of my actual nails like the actual end results and all of that which are a movie in itself referring to the quality of it and everything how i gotta get the right angles the right lighting and all of that and i you know when i take video i take a lot of videos personally of my nails like my end results when i'm done like a lot like my whole camera will be full of um videos of one little set and then i take a i spend a lot of time even you know choosing which of those videos i like and editing it edit it editing it down um into you know a video that's appealing like it's a whole job y'all it's a whole job and it could be the virgo and the perfectionist in me um but i don't know like y'all ain't gonna never ever see me do anything put out anything not a single set or anything that i don't give a hundred percent that's not how i operate um i just can't do it and that goes back into give it a hundred percent or don't do it at all and i said all that to say that i just wanted to give y'all an outlook um on pretty much how this whole thing work and how you have to ultimately be consistent and involved um and most people aren't willing to be consistent and that's the difference between people who are at the top and is growing and flourishing and those who aren't um it's like you know you guys might hear all of that my whole process and everything and what i do and may think like ain't nobody you know i'm not doing all of that or whatever um but you know that's the difference like i said between the people who are at the top and who aren't who are successful and who aren't it's like how bad do you really want it you know what i'm saying like and another thing too is i just wanted to kind of insert this too um kind of piggybacking off of how bad do you really want it like for instance you guys know that well you guys don't really well some of you may know may not know but anyways i'm able to put out consistent content because i do the pop off method and i said that to say that um previous to me having this channel i didn't i didn't do pop off method i didn't do none of that i was a, the girl or I was known for the girl with the nails. I know how I do nails. Long, blingy, flashy. I know how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, everywhere I went, people would compliment me all day long. I never, ever not had my nails done, literally. Like, 
I literally always had my nails done. I used to wear my nails for a month at a time. And when I was taking off that one, I was putting on another one. Like nobody ever knew what my natural nails looked like because I, I always had my nails done. And when I started my channel, this YouTube channel, I had to make a sacrifice. And that's another thing that people aren't willing to do. They are not willing to, one, be consistent or make a sacrifice. Um, yeah, so I knew I wanted to grow my YouTube channel and be successful at it and flourish and give you guys consistent content, which means I had to do something which resulted in me doing a pop-off method all the time. That is how I'm able to consistently put out content to y'all every day, every other day, every few days. Um, because I pop off my nails when I'm done with them and I put them away and I'm on to the next one. Either the same day or the next day, I'm filming another video back to back. Um, I don't stop. Like... I'm always at it. And you guys don't think that make me sad not to be able to wear these beautiful designs, like having to pop my nails off right after and, you know, like, but that's a sacrifice I was willing to make. It isn't y'all fault or anyone's fault. It's just, it's just simply the sacrifice I was willing to make. Um, and going back again and reiterating that, um, that is a couple of things that most people aren't willing to do, which is be consistent and sacrifice. And that's the difference, again, between the people who are successful and at the top and those who aren't. And I want to say that, too. I don't don't get it twisted. I'm not saying um, that I'm at the top. You guys know that. Obviously, I'm just, you know, saying in general and telling you guys what works for me, um, you know. And like I said, I've been doing this a little over a year and I'm this far in. And it's like really only the beginning, like. So y'all do the math. Anyways, moving on to the next tip. I think we're on 13, if I'm not mistaken. Um, tip number 13. And this, <laughs> it all ties in. But this kind of ties into what I was just saying previously. Um, I know some people may be like, well, I can't make time for it. And, um, you know, a, a YouTube channel is what I'm referring to. I, I can't make time to make content. I can't, you know, do this. I can't do that. I don't know this and I don't know that. Um yes i know life be life and you know what i'm saying like i know everybody go through a lot of different things um i go through a lot of my own stuff that people have no idea about and if y'all knew y'all wonder how i get on here all the time or how i continue to just be me every day you know what i'm saying like yeah people make time for what they want to make time for going back again to sacrificing how bad do you want it you gotta ask yourself how bad do you want it um real quick intermission y'all i just kind of showed y'all that nail right there because i'm just telling you guys that that's the kind of design that i'm gonna try to go for on um this nail that i'm about to do here um that's a nail that i did a, a while ago but i'm just trying to um copy that design on this nail here that's all i show that for just in case any of you were confused anyways um back to what i was saying people make time for what they want to make time for so um you can make time in your schedule and i'm not saying that you got to be pushing out videos every day or anything like that um but you gotta make time for doing it at least sometimes if you want to have any type of success in it or any type of following or engagement or anything like that um you gotta make you gotta make time for it um even it's even if it's as little as one video per week because some people you know what i'm saying like y'all favorite youtubers i ain't trying to be funny be gone for months at a time months at a time and not posting you know what i'm saying like nah that ain't me i'm gonna i'm gonna be y'all already know y'all gonna see my y'all gonna hear my voice at least three so four times a week but um what i'm saying is to those of you who you know maybe have kids or things like that because i understand like i said life be life in, um and we have our own type of situation so but you got to make time for it like i said if even if it's one video per week or two per week i recommend that if you want to be successful and growing your channel to do two to three videos per week um i recommend that i just wanted to take a moment to say that i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far in the nails um i'm sure you guys are um i hope i'm well i'm not gonna say i hope i'm not talking too much because i told you guys in the beginning what kind of video this was that it was a um tips videos for my people who want to know um gems on how to have a successful youtube channel um and i know a thing or two so that's just what i'm gonna do and i'm sorry if you don't enjoy these type of videos with you know talking the way, whole way through then um i'm sure you probably clicked out by now and if you haven't and you're upset then you should probably click out <laughs>
or you always have the option of muting the video if you don't want to listen or whatever what have you whatever you want to do um but i don't know who wouldn't want to hear these um a lot of people don't give this type of information so um yeah anyway just before moving into tip number 14, I do want to say something too that ties into what I was just saying about being consistent and posting um, at least two to three times a week or something like that. Um, is that if you don't be consistent and post often, then YouTube's algorithm, like it's not going to push your videos. It's not going to push your videos out to the people. Um, and that's a whole different thing. YouTube's algorithm is a whole different animal. It's just the algorithm of show, social media nowadays is, is a different beast like it's crazy um but i know a thing or two about it but we're gonna get into that a little bit later or in the next video but um yeah they won't push your videos if you're not being consistent like for instance you guys know um well first of all you guys know that i post like i said every other day every couple of days something like that and if i don't know there's something wrong i'm either sick or going through it or it's just something um so that moment that time y'all when i was sick and time when i was sick and when i had to kind of make a um well be absent from youtube for some of my own personal reasons reasons um it was like what the first time was like mm, three weeks something like that and then the next time i was absent was probably like was not probably it was literally a week um once i came back from those different type of breaks like um, I noticed because that's what they do. YouTube will not push your videos because it's, it's almost like a punishment when you're gone from YouTube and it, it really sucks. That's one thing I hate about YouTube is that um, it will punish you for not being for being away for a while and it will not push your videos once you come back. It's like you've been gone. Now you're going to work where you're going to work again from the from the beginning almost um, to get your engagement back. And it sucks. So um just try to be as consistent as y'all can y'all because youtube's algorithm is no joke they're only going to push people's videos who are consistent who keeps people on the app and engaged that's a really good gem um that you guys need to listen up to um all of these really i really hope y'all are well have your ears open wide open and are taking notes anyways moving on to number 14 now the remaining videos is kind of pretty much gonna be about the videos themselves um and we're gonna have a part two to, th to this because um i have a lot more for y'all in store and i don't think we'll have time enough by the time i get done with these nails but anyway um so about the videos themselves tip number 14 you want to have clear well we're not gonna go by tips anymore i'm just kind of gonna tell you guys um you want to have clear, good quality videos. Can I tell y'all how many times I have clicked on a video and I instantly clicked out because the quality was bad um, and or I couldn't hear or something like that. Um, yeah, you want to make sure you have clear, good quality videos. And we're going to go into depth about that here in a moment. But um, I want to say first that you don't want to you don't have to have anything special. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to have no special camera like the best of the best um, uh, best buy camera or something crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, sometimes when we're starting something, we have to work with what we have. Um, for a long time, I had, from the, since the beginning of my channel up until like, what, three months ago, four months ago, something like that, like three months ago, um, for a long time, I used my old iPhone 6S Plus. It was a phone that I had years ago and it was laying around. It wasn't broken or anything like that and i could pick it up and i could record it that is all that i needed um we don't have to do so much we don't have to do too much we got to work with what we have y'all um if you got an android or whatever whatever you have pick it up and start filming with it um going back again how bad do you want it it does not matter it has to be it doesn't have to be so fancy um you just pick up your phone you better wipe it off with some alcohol that camera and get recording um you want to have a good angle. You want to make sure that, um, and that goes for anything, but in particular, if you're doing nails, you want to make sure you have a good angle to where people can see what you're doing. Can't stress this enough either. Um, yes, as a beginner, I used to always be out of frame. <laughs> you, you couldn't see what I was doing, but that's with anyone. So if you're starting your channel and you're doing nails or whatever, and you can't stay in frame, do not worry. Um, that happens to the best of us. Um, 
well then it doesn't happen so much to me now but i'm talking about in the beginning that happens to all of us um because it's you're getting new to having to you know having a camera over you and filming like you know what i'm saying like for me personally i'm blind so um prior to having a youtube channel my nose is straight up right up to my face because i can't see like you know what i'm saying like my, or my face is right up to my nails so in the beginning when i had a youtube when i made my youtube channel you could see like um my head in the camera view y'all look at these nails look at these nails y'all we're gonna have to have a part two because i have so many more tips for y'all um these are beautiful y'all and y'all seen the whole process this way um and if you didn't pay attention to the process and you was listening to me talk go back and watch the video because these nails are gorgeous and yeah but you guys can listen and talk at the same time i'm sure y'all can i know y'all come multitask i know it i believe in y'all um <laughs> anyways these are how the nails are looking y'all so very gorgeous like love them they are the perfect new year set they don't want to go too long this set i've been liking shorter nails lately so yeah this is how they are looking and you guys know the products i use i told you guys in the beginning um and now i'm just kind of top coating the nails and i'm going to insert my final results but um i want to finish saying what i was saying um yes my my face was close like you could see my head in the camera shot um what was i showing here oh y'all i was showing here because you guys remember when i was telling you guys before when you're doing bling that's a tip when you're doing bling um well me personally i don't like to put bling on the side sorry y'all i'm all over the place right now because i'm trying to tell you guys tips and say something right now at the same time i don't like to put the bling on the edges because i like to keep the shape of my nails so what you do is you put glitter underneath your bling so that you can not even tell that um there's no bling right there and just right there in that clip that i was showing you guys you literally can't tell that there's no bling right there um y'all and this right here is definitely not in the middle y'all sometimes i have a hard time seeing like in the middle like seeing straight in the middle so sometimes i could put stuff cricket or off to the side and this definitely was so off to the side um it was crazy i'm like that is definitely not in the middle at all i kept looking at it as you guys can see but anyway it's still cute and you can Y'all can't really tell. Y'all probably wouldn't be able to if I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so make sure you put in glitter underneath your your bling nail so that you cannot even tell. And I am going in on the sides and kind of um putting top coat for it to be a little bit more shinier. But y'all literally is so camouflage, you really can't even tell. Um, not really. So that's a little tip. But anyway. I'm a little bummed that I couldn't fit all the tips in this video because I'm super passionate about what I'm trying to tell you guys right now. But we're going to have to make it a part two because the video will be ending, ending soon and I couldn't fit them all in here. So yeah, y'all see that? You can't even really tell that there's no bling. That is how good glitter cam camouflages it. So put a nice shiny glitter that is the same color as your bling underneath your nails to camouflage it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish what I was saying before the video ends. But these are the results of the nails and yeah. Anyways, when I have good quality um videos it has to be clear um and you want to be at a good angle and if you don't have special phone doesn't matter pick up your phone and use what you got um you want to have good lighting and you guys can check out my amazon storefront which is linked in the description below to check out the different lightings i have set up at my um desk to film you want to stay in frame um so people don't want to click, click off the video because people can't see what you're doing like that's aggravating so stay in frame if you can um sometimes it happens when we're out of frame but try to remember to stay in frame and a tip that i do um like the way i have my phone set up i have it at my eyes view so i can kind of see the ca like the screen while i'm filming so i'm able to look back up and make sure that i'm still in frame um and you want to be up close so people can see what you're doing and if you guys can't be up close then go check out my um iMovie editing video um so you can see how to put your videos closer like so you can zoom them in to be closer but um i'm sorry y'all we're gonna have to do a part two i'm so aggravated because i'm passionate about what i'm saying right now i don't want to tell you guys all of it but um here are the nails y'all they're so cute and i'm just showing you guys right now in different lightings how they look these are gorgeous y'all these are gorgeous um and I'm going to go ahead and enter my final results now and stay tuned for part two because we're going to be talking about the remaining tips and get into the nitty gritty about all the different things to grow your YouTube um, quick and have a successful YouTube um, and all of the nitty gritty. We're going to get into all the juicy stuff and about like revenue as well. We're going to get into all of that. So stay tuned for the next video and that will be, yeah, it will be the next one. Part two of all the YouTube tips will be the next video. Anyways, 
here are the nails y'all these are so beautiful these are all my final results if you guys enjoyed this video don't leave me hanging y'all give give this video a thumbs up if every single one of y'all don't get this video a thumbs up um for all these good tips and these bomb nails like y'all suck anyways give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified every single time i post a new video it's lit over here y'all it's lit thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now